Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see the RAM Verilog code project in Vivado. RAM that is the random access memory which is used to store the data files and machine code that your computer processor needs to run your applications. The characteristics are that it is a volatile memory because it loses its contents when the power is turned off and it can perform the read and write operations and the speed is much faster than the other hard drives or uh, SSDs and the random access because the uh, the any type of storage location in the memory can be directly accessed here ram is divided into a single port ram and double port ram single port ram that it can singly access port for both reading and writing data and double port ram that it will have two independent access port for both reading and writing data so this is the block diagram for the single port RAM where we are having 128 bit by 8 bit where 128 defines the location and 8 bit defines the data at each location here means uh, that 128 is divided by 8 bit of data and is the input values where the data is 8 bit and address is in a form of 2 raised to power 7 which gives us 128 so we have wrote it as 6 is to 0 and we is the write enable if it goes high it will enable the writing operation and if it goes low it will enable the reading operation and clk is the clock signal and q is the output data port which also gives us 8 bit value so now we will move on to the single port RAM using the Verilog in Vivado version 2023.1 First we will declare the module name as single port RAM followed by the input that is the data, address, write enable, clock and output Q. Here data is data provide the data for writing into the RAM and address for addressing the write operation and we which controls the write operation and the clock that is the clock signal and q that is the output port here we are going to have a register of 8 bit followed by the address bit that is uh, 2 raised to power 7 128 locations and then again we will define the register in a form of 7 bit that is the address register if the clock is high, write enable will go up. If write enable will go high, the data will be stored in RAM, which is addressed by ADR. Or if write enable is low, the address will be stored into the address register. After performing this code here, we will assign the queue to the RAM of address register. Now we will see the test bench. Before seeing the test bench, let's do the run simulation. Because in this we can give uh, we can get the output waveform in two ways. So the first way is see the first way is like this right click go to force clock here you have to write the values like for data for address write enable clock you have to write it separately but if we write the test bench if we write the test bench here it will give the waveform which we took the values for so again first we'll declare the module name as single port ram tb the module name for design and test win should not be same followed by the input and output and here we will initialize this by using the dump file and the dump vars and then we will have the clock as high and it will toggle after 5 unit of time. So
so if the data is having 8 bit value at location 1 the address will be at point 0 and the write enable is 1 after 10 unit time if the data is at location 2 and the address is at point 1 after 10 unit of toggle the data will go to location 3 and address will go to point 2 and after toggle of uh, 10 unit time again the address will go to uh, point 0 and the write enable will go low after 10 unit of time the address will go to location 2 then again 10 minute 10 unit of time the uh, data will go to location 4 and the address will go to point 1 and the write enable will go high and last the address will go to point 3 when the write enable is high we'll stop this we'll have we will go here run behavioral simulation i'll show you the difference between the first way and the second way see we got the output waveform here based on the test bench written in the previous video of winning machine i didn't explain you this so let's see it here so the first value was if the write enable was high if the write enable was high the address will be at point zero and the data will be at location one so write enable this one is the write enable it is high the address is at point zero and the data is at location one and when the address at location one sorry point one the data is at location two and if the address is at point two the data is at location three and then here the write enable goes low so for point zero again it is at location three and for point one it is at location three for two also three and then the enable goes high the address at point one uh, having the data at location four so i hope you understood the single port ram now we will see the dual port ram so now we will see for the double port ram this is the block diagram for it here it is the input values that is data 1 data 2 address 1 address 2 we1 we2 that is the write enable and the clock signal and the output as q1 and q2 again we are going to have 128 locations by 8 bit so we are going to have the two independent axis of uh, two ports so that's why we use data one and data two address one address two uh, write enable one and two and q1 and q2 okay so now we will move on to the double port ram this is same like the single port ram the only difference is we are going to have the another set of data two so first we will declare the module name as double port ram followed by the input data 1 data 2 and address 1 address 2 write enable 1 write enable 2 clock and output in a form of register that is q1 and q2 so first we will declare the register as a bit value followed by the address value that is 2 raised to power 7 which gives us 128 locations and if the clock goes high write enable will be at if the write enable is high the data will be stored at ram of uh, which is addressed by the adr1 or if write enables go low the q1 will be stored in ram of uh, address 1 again if the clock goes high the write enable of second data will go high then the data 2 will be stored into the address 2 
or if the write enable school do the q2 that is the second output will go to the ram of address 2 one more thing guys if you want to write the test bench go to add source and go here add or create simulation then go next create file give it a name and give it ok and then finish it since i've already written the test bench i'll just directly go here and double click it so here first we will declare the data 1 data 2 address 1 address 2 write enable 1 write enable 2 clock that is the input which is in a form of register for the test bench only and wire as output that is q1 and q2 then we will initialize it by using dump file and dump was if um, the clock is high after five unit time it will toggle and it will go to the low state so it is also same like the previous uh, time we did for the single port ram so the data one if it has a location 33 the address will be at point one if the data two is at like location 44 the address two will be at point two so here the right enable for one set uh, one data is the data one is high and the right enable two for data two is high after 10 unit of toggle it will go to data one at location 55 and address one at location three then address two or location uh, sorry the point one and the right enable two will go low after 10 unit toggle time the address 1 will be at point 2 and address 2 at point 3 and the right enable of data 1 will go low and again after uh, 10 unit toggle time the address 1 will be at point 1 and data 2 will be at position uh, 77 sorry the location and the address 2 will be at point 2 and the right enable 2 will go high we will stop this and we'll give it a run behavioral simulation. Okay, so we got the waveform for the double port RAM. So the first value we had was for right enable one uh, high and right enable two as high. Right enable one and two both are high. So for the right enable one, if the data one is at position 33, the address one should be at point one. And for the right enable two, if the data two at position 44 the point of address should be at uh, at 2 then again if the data 1 is at position 55 the address 1 should be at point 3 and if the data 2 is at position 44 the address 2 should be at position 1 and like this we got our waveform so that's it guys for this video. I hope you all understood this and if you liked it, like, share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon below so you can get updated with my videos. Thank you.